Hello everyone, I'm Isan. In today's video, we'll look at some reasons why not to update to One UI 3.0 just yet. If you are still using some of the features that we discussed in this video, you should not update to One UI 3.0 yet. Okay, now let's just see what are the reasons why you shouldn't update to One UI 3.0. On One UI 3.0, there are many settings and new look that is available on your smartphone. However, there are also settings that are removed from One UI 3.0. For example, the first missing feature in One UI 3.0 is the detailed view with edge lighting. In previous version of One UI 2.5 and 2.0, you can display detailed view with edge lighting simultaneously. In One UI 3.0, now the edge lighting can only work if you activate the brief pop-up notification. If you activate the brief pop-up notification on the left, the edge lighting setting will appear. So in One UI 3.0, the edge lighting can only work in brief pop-up notifications. And if you choose the detailed settings on the right, the option for edge lighting will disappear at the bottom. So you can't set edge lighting if you want the detailed view like before. Then the next feature that you also can not get on One UI 3.0 is replacing the shape icon as in our tips in the previous video. In our previous video, we have shared how to change the shape icon to various other shapes. For those of you who still use the shape icon feature, unfortunately on this Android 11 One UI 3.0, this feature is no longer available. So you can change the shape icon like the previous version of Android 10. So if you want to still use this feature, you shouldn't update to One UI 3.0 just yet. Then the third thing that is also not available in One UI 3.0 is the cutout display in its display full screen app settings. In the previous version, if you look at the settings, then select display settings. Then select full screen apps at the top right there will be three dots option. You can tap from there and select the option and you can select application that you don't want to display in full screen. So when you open application, there will be a black bar at the top. If you update to One UI 3.0, you can no longer choose this previous setting. Even though on Android 11, there is also an option in the developer setting that can simulate the display with this cutout. You can choose several options in this setting, but unfortunately, there is no long black bar option like in the previous version. Of course, this setting doesn't help you if you want to get rid of just one line at the top. Here, there is only a double cutout option like this, punch hole cutout like this, a tail cutout option, and also a waterfall cutout option like this. Then the next thing that you should consider before updating to One UI 3.0 is the missing feature of Good Lock application. For those of you who still use Good Lock, like in our previous video, after this update, there will be several functions of this feature that are not compatible on Android 11. Usually, it will take some time so that this module will get compatible on the latest Android 11. So if you are still using some of the features on this good lock module, you should not update to the latest One UI 3.0 just yet. Then if you take advantage of our previous tip to activate medium power saving with 120Hz refresh rate, after updating to One UI 3.0, unfortunately, these tips are no longer available. So you can no longer use the medium power saving setting at the same time with 120Hz display refresh rate. If you still want to use these settings at the same time, you should not update to One UI 3.0 just yet. Then the next reason for delaying update to One UI 3.0 is that some application that you often use maybe don't support Android 11. Because One UI 3.0 is based on Android 11, so make sure the application that you often use is supported on Android 11. You can check and make sure that some crucial application that you use like banking application already support Android 11. Maybe in some banking application, you have to reset your password because it is considered as a new device after updating to One UI 3.0. If there are applications that you often use don't support Android 11 just yet, you should postpone or delay the update to Android 11 because it will become a trouble since you can't use the application that you usually use every day. For those of you who are facing other issues in the latest One UI 3.0 update, you can also share in the comment section down below. Or you can also report the bug directly to the Samsung member app on Get Help. On the Samsung member application, you can select Get Help then send an error report based on the error that you get. For example, the error is in the camera section, you can simply send and explain the problem from here. 
You can also write directly in the comment section down below to help other users who haven't updated to One UI 3.0. Your comment will be quite helpful for other users who haven't updated to One UI 3.0. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you will be notified when there is a new video from this channel. If you have any question, you can comment in the comment section down below or you can also ask in our Telegram group or you can also DM us directly on our Instagram account at Entertainment. See you on the next video.